Well, hello, I am in my new home. I look like a hot mess because I am a hot mess. And it is move in day. I'm not moving in, but my stuff is moving in. Um, I actually have a pod out in the driveway right now and I hired a moving crew. They're gonna be here in about 45 minutes. And I figured I would show you guys an empty house tour. So um, let me flip you around and I'll show you around. All right, so here's the front entryway. I just brought a box of stuff, my purse. Um, the entryway is a little to be desired, but you know, whatever. Um, this is just some weird little door. And actually, oh, hold on, hold on. That's where I hide the dead bodies, guys. Um, it's like a little crawl space situation. So yeah, so there's that. We're gonna, we're gonna lock kind of lock that we don't need people trying to get in there you know what I mean they don't need to find my bodies and then there's a little hallway here I'm gonna be redoing things so no worries and then there's like a little coat closet and here is my office it is the coolest office ever you guys so um over on this side there's actually like a little indentation here so I can put things. I'm not sure how I'm gonna lay this out yet, so we'll see. But these shelves that the old owner left are actually quite low quality and I won't be using them. So I need to remove them, but that'll happen in due time. And um, if I spin around here, there's actually a bathroom in here. There's a three quarter bath. This is not a legal bedroom because there's no windows or closet. But um, yeah, so hello. <laughs> um, they kind of partially redid this. There's some new stuff in this house, but not everything. Don't worry, I didn't pee in there. The water is just yellow right now. I'm getting the water heater replaced. So anyway, and the flooring is the same throughout. They just replaced this, but they didn't clean it properly, so I need to clean that as well. Anywho, hence why I'm wearing my shoes in here, because it really doesn't matter right now. Let's go upstairs. All right, and then the next level is the main living space. So we've got the kitchen, dining, and living area. And then I actually have a really cool deck that is full of snow. I need to take care of that. And if you hear the chirping in the background, don't worry, I am changing out the smoke detectors very, very soon. So yeah, the finishes are pretty good on this place. However, um, I don't know if you can kind of tell, but they redid the kitchen in like whites and grays, which is great. But then they still elected to have walls. They actually just repainted the walls, like kind of a yellow color. Um, and it's not because of the light. <laughs> the light is a whole nother thing, but it looks like someone's been smoking in here for a really long time, but like it doesn't smell like smoke, but it, the paint makes it look like it. So it just looks very dingy. I'm gonna be replacing that color at some point. Better look at the kitchen here. So yeah, all new appliances. And there's a closet right here. Right now, this is just like a coat closet, but I'm gonna convert this into all shelving because I feel like that's what I want. And there's already a coat closet downstairs, so whatever. Here's a better look at the interior of the kitchen. So not ginormous, but definitely a lot of counter space. This is granite counters, and this is a color called Luna Pearl, if anyone's interested. So. Yeah, it's a very, very uh, standard color that a lot of builders and flippers use. So, anyway. And then you go over into this little hallway. Let me turn some lights on because the movers probably would appreciate some lights today. Um, there's another closet here, which is kind of going to be like a makeshift pantry, I think. I don't know. I might change my mind. Um, fun fact about this. Uh, the way that they had this before, so it's just like this little weird lip thing. And these, not this one, but the other ones were kind of already bowing. Um, I, I put, what did I put on there? I think I put my 
cashews. I think I put my cashews like on the shelf that was here and it just literally toppled. It was the first thing I put up and I'm like, cool, home ownership. <laughs> so anyway, now there's two shelves right there and I'm gonna be gutting this and replacing this and putting more shelving in here and not just these. And I'm gonna rip these out too because these are not, not my jam. Anyway, over on this side is going to be the laundry area. And um, there's some upgrades that need to be done in this room. But um, I'm excited about it, and it's a really good space. It's a uh, pretty good size ceilings, and I have my own wash tub sink that's really grody right now. But we're gonna we're gonna work that out. And then over here is a little powder bath, so it's just like a little half bath, again with the same granite that Luna Pearl. And that's it for this level. All right, so let's go up more stairs. And the carpet is also new, or brand new, newish, I don't know. And this is where the uh, smoke detector is going off, so I apologize. I don't have a ladder to get up there, or else I would. So once you get up here, there is a nice closet, which is awesome. Is, all the closets are super, super deep, which is kind of great. And then there is a guest room. There's a guest room. The only downside to this house is when they painted, they tore out all of the closet systems. So there's literally nothing in the closets. I have to go get closet stuff. So it'll happen in due time. This is the guest room, so I'm not gonna be prioritizing this room, but it'll get done eventually. So here's a better look at this room and let's go into the primary bedroom all right so here is the primary bedroom it is so big you guys like it is ginormous um, i'm thinking about making this wall like some sort of focal wall at some point um oh it's so big it can't even focus uh i'll kind of step back here there's a lot of doors over here so that's the door to the hallway that's the door to the bathroom and then that is the closet door um so yeah let's go in the closet closet's quite big again there's no closet system because you know um but yeah it's it's just a big old room right now this is definitely on the priority list to get this closet figured out and to do something with, but I need to worry about that when I get back from my trip. And then let's go into the bathroom. So there is a door that leads directly into the bathroom from the master. I'm gonna close it for right now, but there's another door just right here. So this is the primary bathroom, or just the bathroom that's upstairs. Um, so yeah, this is not a laundry chute. I had a friend over and she's like, oh, is that a laundry chute? And I'm like, no, it's just the plumbing from the other side. Um, but yeah, and then again with the uh, Luna Pearl and they just painted the cabinets. They're not the nicest quality, but you know what they're gonna do. And I'm excited about that. And fun fact, the owners took all of the uh, dowels for the toilet paper holders. So I bought new toilet paper holders because I wanted them anyways. Um, but yeah, so that's fun. And then they did redo the shower, which is nice. They didn't do the best job at um, like, you know, filling in. Like I definitely need to put some caulking in there to get that space out of there, but again, I will do that before I fully move in and use the showers. And again, they use that kind of yellowy paint color. You can kind of see it pretty well in here because it's like very much a gray tone. Um, but yeah, it's, I don't know. And then there's three different towel bars, you guys. There's a towel bar. Hold on, hold on, wait for it. Towel bar and towel bar. That is going to be it for the pre-move-in home tour. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and 
I hope to share more content related to this home very, very soon. If you guys have any suggestions of things you want to see, drop them down in the comments, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to my baby. Yeah.